So I thought it would be fun and I'm considering that this might be a series. So let me know if that's of interest to you. But I'm taking five of the smallest fish that we get questions about a lot. What is the smallest tank you can keep them in and how many should you put in there? So let's start off with some of the smallest fish. And for this list, I'm going to suggest ones that anybody could really keep in. So can you keep them in smaller tanks? Possibly if you're an experienced fish keeper, but it will be more work maintaining the water quality. And then also, of course, you can keep them in larger tanks frequently, depending on personality and whatever else you're keeping. But just know that, that this is a good kind of benchmark what you can keep them in. The Florida least Killy, also known as the Heterandria formosa. We have them in a regular version and then also the gold version in one of these tanks back here. They are very, very tiny, but what is the smallest size tank that you can put them in? The Florida Lee's Killy. I have kept them in bookshelf tanks. I currently am with some yellow shrimp. It is a three and a half gallon bookshelf tank. It's a little bit on the small side, yes. But I would recommend if you are getting the least Killy fish, what size tank? I would say a five gallon is a good starting point to put a little group of six. I think that's a nice little size group. Yes, you can uh, kind of fudge the, the tank size and make it a little smaller like I have in the three and a half gallon because it is a bookshelf tank and that gives them a lot more swimming space uh, horizontally. And the, the great thing that I really like, besides their little diminutive size, is that they don't have a whole lot of activity level. So they just kind of poke around the tank. They don't have mad zoomies around the tank, like some of your other fish. So this is a great size fish if you like tiny fish and tiny tanks. Now the next fish we get a lot of questions on, and these are some of my other favorites. These are, I'm gonna lump them all together, whether you're looking at a mirror rasbora, chili rasbora, dwarf rasbora. They go by so many different names and they're slightly different. Yes, they are different species, but they are all relatively the same size. They stay under one inch there, very, very small, very cute to watch. They do have a little bit higher activity level and like we have downstairs, the Mira, they really do like to school. So I would recommend if you want to get a school of this and you want to have a very small tank, I would do a five gallon like I do. In our living room, we have a five gallon. It's kind of my little cave style tank. I just love it. Love watching them school together and they're just so small. How many would I put in there? I would recommend eight to 10. That would be a very safe amount to put in there. Can you put more? Possibly uh, people may have a difference of opinion. Yes, you will get a lot more impact the more you put in there, but eight to 10 is a really good amount to put in a five gallon. Now the next fish is a very popular fish for good reason. They are a very stunning fish. That is the CPD, the Celestial Pearl Daniel, also known as the Galaxy Rasbora. It's a beautiful little fish, also stays very, very small. I've kept them in a 12 gallon long and that worked out great. What's the smallest size tank that I would keep them in? Well, they do have a higher activity level, so I would bump it up to a 10 gallon tank and I would keep them in a group of six. Most of these really prefer to be in a group. They interact much better. And keep in mind the larger the tank, maybe the longer tank that you have, the more activity you're going to see. So it's gonna be more fun for them. It's also gonna be more fun for you, believe it or not, even though you may be obsessed like I am with tiny tanks. Very tiny tanks are really cool, but you can reserve those for maybe a snail uh, or no fish whatsoever and just make it a little water garden. But the, I think the more that I keep fish, even though I just love miniatures in any kind of realm of anything, but the more I keep fish, the larger and the longer the tanks I get because it's just more fun to aquascape and to watch the inhabitants kind of roam around the tank. And I think it's a little bit more fun for them. For the next group, I cannot do a video like this. The, some of the, the smallest little inhabitants that you can keep, little fish. This is not a fish, it's shrimp. Who doesn't love shrimp? And if you love tiny, you will love shrimp. We keep several different colors of Neocaridina shrimp. If you are curious or you want to try a different kind of shrimp, highly recommend you go to flipaquatics.com. They are a channel sponsor. 
and it is the best home if you want to look at nano fish, if you want to look at shrimp, uh, tanks, plants. It's a great, great resource to check out online and they're really great people to deal with. A lot of information, even if you just want to shop around, there's a lot of information on that website. Highly recommend you check it out. But Neocaridata shrimp for me are a must have. I absolutely love shrimp. Yellow shrimp are one of my favorites these days, but you can get them in so many different colors. What is the minimum size tank that I would recommend to nearly anybody? I would say no smaller than a three gallon. Can you go smaller? Sure. Uh, experienced fish keepers, especially if you go to a show, they may exhibit one or two little shrimp in a very tiny tank, maybe a one gallon, but that's for usually a very limited amount of time. And they know what they're doing. They're watching the water parameters very, very closely. And the smaller the tank, typically the more work it's going to be for you keeping it clean and keeping the water parameters. So you're gonna basically do yourself a favor going a little bit larger than maybe you would like. But a three gallon is great for shrimp, especially if you're only gonna put three to six. I think a little trio of shrimp can be really cute. Have I gone smaller than three gallons? Yes, I have. Usually it's been for a limited amount of time. And especially if they start breeding, then they then you need to pull them out. So uh, three to six and a three gallon would be just fine. Now for my last one is one of my favorite. And we do get a lot of questions about these sparkling garami. It is a fantastic little fish. It is so cute. They are very colorful, very shy, pretty little blue eyes, really cute. What is the smallest tank that I would put this in? I would put this little fish in a five gallon. However, I would only put one. So that would be the smallest size tank that I would put a single sparkling grommy in. And they can be very, very shy. They can also be uh, have a little bit of an attitude. So keep that in mind. Currently, I do have a single one in with my, is that an 11 gallon long? I believe so. With my Priscilla Tetras, really cool little setup there. One works out great in there, but if you are having uh, multiple, if you want multiples, I have had a 12 gallon, similar sized, a 12 gallon long, and I was able to put, I believe I had three to four in there, and that gives them, especially if you're gonna heavily plant it, that'll give them plenty of space to not only zoom around, but also have their own little, their own little quadrants that they can protect, and it's just a lot of fun to see them interact as well, but they do have a little bit of an attitude. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Again, let me know if you would like me to do this as a series. I think there's a whole lot more, even when I was doing this list of five fish and shrimp, I thought of a whole other bunch of fish that we always get questions on that are super, super cool because the world of nanotanks, nanofish is a very cool world. Thanks for watching.